Hear me when I say this. You're either going to have to make the decision for yourself or the decision is going to get made for you. If you're anything like me, you struggle with decision fatigue or decision-making overwhelm. Let me give you an example. Raise your hand if, when you're home and you have a bunch of things to do, you get stuck. For example, hmm, I need to shower, I need to do my laundry, and I need to wash the dishes. Hmm, should I shower first or should I do my laundry first? If I shower first, then I won't have any clean clothes to wear. If I do my laundry first, then I have to wait to shower. Then, should I take a walk while the laundry is in? Or should I prepare what I need for dinner while the laundry is in? You see what I'm saying? All of these decisions. What ends up happening with me is I get completely overwhelmed with what order I should do things in, and then I end up doing nothing. And then the way that the decision gets made for me is that the end of the day comes, I haven't done my laundry, I haven't taken a walk, and I haven't prepared anything for dinner, so I've got to do things all on the fly. I'm not prepared to start my week, and then I have to deal with the stress that that brings. I was listening to a podcast about this today, about decision fatigue, and I learned something that could be very helpful. I want to share it with you. So it's this. Make the decision that will ultimately lead to the greater amount of happiness. Now that sounds very esoteric, so let me explain that a little bit more. It kind of has to do with backward planning. So if I think about my ultimate goal, like my way ultimate life goal, that would be that I just want to live a peaceful, happy, healthy life. So if I have to do the laundry and I planned on taking a walk and I planned on going to the grocery store to get food to have for the week and to cook dinner that night, which one of those things should I do first? I could get caught in that spiral of decision-making nonsense or I could think to myself, hmm, Getting out in the sunlight is ultimately good for my health. Moving my body is ultimately good for my health. So regardless of the ramifications of not doing the other two, I'm going to do that one first. I'm going to make that my starting point and I'm going to go from there. Because whether or not I get my laundry done that day, yeah, that could be annoying. I might need to wear something that I didn't plan on wearing. But is not doing my laundry that day going to ultimately affect my health and well-being for the rest of my life? No. Is not going to the grocery store and getting what I need to cook dinner that night ultimately going to affect my long-term health and wellness? Not really. But if I don't take a walk, if I don't get myself out of the house and into the sunshine and soak up some vitamin D and move my body, that will ultimately affect my health and well-being going forward. So today I decided to take that walk first. What happened was I had gotten up and I was sitting having my tea and I had all of these things I needed to do today. And I got stuck thinking which one I was going to do first. And in my thinking, that walk kept, get, kept getting put on the back burner because I wanted to take care of all of the tasks first. But I just thought, you know, if I don't get up and take that walk, if I don't get myself out of the house, that's going to set the stage for me feeling pretty down and crappy the rest of the day. And I don't have that time to take a sunshiny morning walk before I go to work during the week. So I made that decision, and it set my day up pretty well. After that, I came back. I got dressed, my husband and I went to get a bite to eat, and we were going to go grocery shopping together. <clears throat> After we went to get a bite to eat, we both thought, you know what, neither of us have it in us to like, go and deal with the supermarkets on a Sunday afternoon, 
so we didn't do it. We have enough here in the house to deal with for a few days and one of us or both of us will run to the store during our week and fill in a few things here and there. And that will just have to be this week. But the well-being of my mind and body had to take precedence. So if you ever get stuck with decision fatigue and you're not sure where to start, and it's a smaller decision. I'm not talking about the ones like what job to take or where am I going to live or um, something like that. I'm just talking about these little daily decisions that can cause us to get overwhelmed, especially those of us with neurodivergent brains, <laughs> ADHD or autism. Just make the one that's going to feel best in that moment because when you start doing something, you're putting yourself in a good place to maybe do some more things. So there you have it. That's my, that's my help for the day.